Hey everybody and welcome to Meals with Melissa where we come up with healthier options of the things that you love to eat. Now I know I've got some extra dogs in the background today watching some dogs for a friend but we have a great recipe. I've actually totally tested this, tried this. It is amazing and a little flair that might remind you of Thanksgiving today. So today we are going to make a cranberry cabbage salad. Now I have a lot of people say, I don't like vegetables. Like, why do I have to eat it? Well, vegetables are full of nutrients and we, our bodies thrive on vitamins, minerals, and nutrients. And of course, it's even better if it tastes good. So that is our goal. Now, I'm gonna kind of make, give you some options on this because I've tried it a couple of different ways and I know how I really like it and I'm gonna give you some ideas on how to use it. So, we're gonna start with a head of cabbage. Now, red cabbage, yes, that's what I made it with, but today I have a green cabbage. It really doesn't matter what your goal is. And yes, they're a little different in flavor, but it really doesn't matter. It just depends on what you like. This is kind of an alternative to a regular, like a slaw, which unfortunately usually carries a lot of sugar in it. Um, and of course, you know that I'm not a fan of sugar. Well, I'm a fan of sugar, but it's not good for us. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that head of cabbage and we're gonna thinly slice it. Now, you can make, make as much or as little as you want. Um, I'm gonna do about a third of the cabbage today um, just because I don't really need to make a great big portion of it right now. However, if you're making this for Thanksgiving, by all means, make a giant amount of it because everybody's gonna eat it and love it. So I'm gonna thinly slice that. I'm gonna throw it in my bowl. I've got that ready. Now all I'm gonna do is add a few ingredients and make kind of my own dressing to it. And it's actually a healthy option for you. So to this, I'm going to add a half a cup of dried cranberries. Now, yes, I know because they're dried um, that they do contain some natural sugars, but um, it's better than a lot of other things that you could be adding. And you have other options. As a matter of fact, we've added apple to this recipe and it works phenomenal. I believe you got gala apples is what we've been using. Um, so I'm gonna add about a half a cup and I'm actually just gonna eyeball this right now, just for kicks and giggles, um, because I've made it a couple of times. Um, by the way, guys, this works amazing on burgers. So, you know, if you're doing the, the bunless burger and need some extra flavor on it, this works phenomenal. Okay, so to that, I'm also going to rough chop some nuts. Now, the original recipe does call for pistachios, but I'm gonna use what I have on hand. Um, we've tried some different things, walnuts. I'm actually gonna use pecans, because that's what I have in my house, because, you know, it's baking season. So we've got some great stuff um, that we just start keeping those things on hands because we know we're going to start making some fun stuff for the holidays. So I'm just gonna rough chop some pecans. Not, I don't want them too small pieces. I'm not trying to make crumbs. I just want it to be able to spread it throughout the salad and get, give it some crunch, right? It's gonna be, it tastes fresh. Um, it's got some great flavors in it. Super, super simple. It really doesn't take long to make. You can throw it in the fridge and just take it out for dinner. Okay, so I'm gonna add my pecans to that. So get some of those dry ingredients in there, super easy, super fast. Now to that, I'm going to add one teaspoon of salt. Now again, this is kind of to taste. So if you know, if you like a little less salt, a little more salt, I mean, come on, this is probably pretty easy when it comes to, you know, figuring out your flavors. If you like it a little saltier, you know. All right, so I'm just gonna spread that throughout my bowl. All right, so a little bit of salt to that. Don't worry, I'm gonna mix this up. So I'm just gonna kind of throw everything in there and then we'll, we'll mix it with a big spoon. All right, I'm also going to add one teaspoon. I believe it was a tablespoon. So we're gonna add a tablespoon of your favorite hot sauce. Now, totally up to you. I This is just what I have on hand because um, I use it for some other recipes. So I'm gonna add, I'm actually gonna eyeball this. I'm not gonna use a lot. I don't want it to be extra spicy. I just like the extra little bit of a zing that it gives, okay? So to that, I'm also going to add some cider vinegar. So one tablespoon of cider vinegar, it's gonna give it a little bit of bite to it. Again, we're just gonna mix this all up and we're actually gonna let it sit in the refrigerator for about an hour or so in order to let the flavors meld together. Okay, so my apple cider vinegar. Now to that, it, the original recipe calls for a couple of different oils, um, some walnut oil and I believe uh, I can't remember now. Um, again, I've made this my own recipe at this point. So I've used oil, uh, regular um, olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, but today I'm gonna use macadamia nut oil because that's what I have on hand. Um, and I like the fact that it has a little bit of nutty taste to it. So I'm gonna add three tablespoons of the oil. We're almost done, guys, it's that easy. All right, three tablespoons. Sorry, this one's a little slow. One, yes, I can count. <laughs> Most days, depends on the day. All right, third tablespoon. Um, and like I said, you can add fresh apple makes this taste absolutely amazing as well. And you can actually add it. You don't have to cut out necessarily the cranberries. It's totally up to you. All right, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm gonna grab something to mix this with. 
Again, I just want it to be coated with all the oils and make sure that it's, it's well mixed, right? And then we're gonna let it sit in the fridge. Now, when I serve it, I'm going to do one of two things. I'm gonna serve it as is, which is great. And trust me, it tastes wonderful without the extras. Um, or I can actually add some blue, about a third cup of blue cheese. Now, some people don't like that, but it does give it a little bit of a salt um, and a zing to it with the flavors. So it's totally up to you if that's something you wanna do. You can also add some fresh chives. Now, I found it doesn't need either one, really, to make it a great salad. It, honestly, guys, you gotta try this one. It's so simple. You're getting some vegetables and some healthy um, ingredients all together, um, and you can use it either as a side or as a condiment or a topping. So super, super simple, you guys. Try it, let me know what you think. Again, I'm using some green. It's prettier with the red, so I probably would recommend the red cabbage. Um, but either way, it tastes phenomenal. Um, and listen, you guys, I wanna know what you think. Do you, have you tried any of my recipes? Does it work for you? It really, the goal is for it to help you to find your groove when it comes to learning to live a healthier lifestyle and find recipes for things that you would like to eat and maybe the real thing doesn't really work out for you because it's not a healthier version of it. We're trying to give you that healthier version. Now, if you have a recipe you'd love to share, please pass it along because of course, we want to build a community of people who can utilize these things we wanna share. Um, and you know what, if you have a question, a comment, or something that you'd like to see on here, please let me know. You can either drop a comment down below or you can message me directly at Facebook Messenger or on any one of my platforms. Now, be sure to hop on YouTube. All these go up on YouTube when I'm done. You can see all the back episodes of everything that I do. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And that way, you know when they pop up. So have an incredible weekend. Thanksgiving's coming. We'll try to come up with some great options for that as well. Uh, but I hope you have a happy and healthy holiday season. Have a great weekend, guys.